Uh -huh. Uh, Luke 8, uh, verse 10. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he said, Unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God, <laughs> but to others in parables uh, that seeing uh, they might uh, not see, Ouch. <laughs> and hearing they might not understand. Oh, <laughs> the not see uh -huh, and not understand. Oh, oh. <laughs> now uh, the parable is this. Mm -hmm. The seed is the word of God. <laughs> Those by the wayside are they that hear, then cometh the devil, yes, the reptile, mm -hmm. that you need to drown, you need to drown the devil, <laughs> and taketh away the word out of their hearts, mm -hmm. lest they should believe and be saved. <laughs> they on the rock are they, which, which when they hear, receive the word with joy. <laughs> And these have no root, uh, which for a while believe, and in time of temptation fall away. <laughs> and that which fell among the thorns are they which, when they have heard, go forth, and are choked with cares and riches and pleasures of this life, <laughs> and bring no fruit to perfection. <laughs> but that on the good ground are they which in an honest and good heart, having heard the word, keep it, uh -huh, and bring forth fruit with patience. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, no man, when he lighted a candle, uh -huh, cover it with a vessel, nor put it under a bed, yeah. but setteth it on a candlestick uh -huh, that shall not be, oh, set it on a candlestick, uh -huh, no way, no man hath, and that they which enter in may see the light. Yes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, <laughs> neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. Yes, take heed therefore mm -hmm. how ye hear, for whosoever hath, <laughs> to him shall be given, and whosoever hath not, from him shall be taken even that which he seemeth to have. <laughs> Now, um, there's nothing secret in Christianity, for nothing is secret, that every item for the last 2,000 years, yes, of Catholicism, oh, the orthodoxy, yes, and the Church of England, boom, shall be made manifest to all of Christianity in celebration of the resurrection of Jesus. <laughs> Now, I just want to mention right now, for all the occultists and spiritists that wanted to see and they did not see, oh, they wanted to hear and they might not understand, yeah, for all of those that said, well, the kingdom of God is a mystery and it's not understandable, they have actually been studying Christianity for 2,000 years. A lot of individuals, they were in monasteries or convents or these different locations, and they had handwritten the, the Bible. Yes, yeah, they did. Mm -hmm. And I thought that all of Christianity would want to know every secret book and manuscript of every person mm -hmm, that had been canonized, oops, beatified, yes, in every form of denomination of the last 2,000 years. Mm -hmm. Now, let's say I found some corrupt individuals in various um, churches and denominations that are not actual persons. I would say a dog, yes, cannot repent of their sins. <coughs> they are attracted to the devil. <coughs> See, there's this idea of a letter. Mm -hmm. Let's say I wrote you a letter. Yes. Dear so-and-so in Christianity, this is Paul Budnick, and I invite you to a celebration of Jesus because of his resurrection 2,000 years ago. I put it in an envelope, and I put a stamp on it. Now, the stamp, yes, is what enables me to send it in the mail so that you can get a personal invitation, yes, to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. <laughs> now, I could write 1.5 billion letters, yes, but if I don't have any postage, yes, it will not get to the individual that I'm sending it to. <laughs> Now, <laughs> <laughs>